All right, we have so far discussed many, many things, mm -hmm. Laura. We've discussed vulnerabilities, penetration testing, incident management, among others. Now, do they work together or are they all done in isolation? Well, they can all work together in the form of a security policy, and it is absolutely necessary to have a security policy in any organization. The security policy can also include the following. Uh, there's separation of duties, job rotation and mandatory vacation, least privilege, incident response, forensic tasks, ongoing security, training and awareness for users, and auditing requirements and frequency. That's correct. Quite often, People think that enforcing IT security is the job of the security department. Mm -hmm. And do you think so? Mm -hmm. Well, they are the main drivers, mm -hmm. but without the collaboration of other departments, the results will not be effective. That's right. Who are the collaborators then? Good question, Laura. Collaborators include uh, everybody, really. It's right. human resources, legal management, uh, clients and vendors, the people you work with every day, regulatory agencies, really anyone who you think can contribute, which should be anybody in your network. Anybody in your network. Yeah. Let me briefly introduce what should be included in a security policy and set up procedures. Identify key stakeholders, define implementation. Identify the development method, develop a policies list, describe each policy, write procedures for each policy, identify updated triggers, review policy and procedures, and these are all necessary. So if you want to safeguard your organization from security attacks, make sure you implement them. Good idea.